Hello, I'm Lauren. I bring to you my friend, Dr. Jabor, a distinguished professor with a doctorate in Islamic studies, to read to you passages from the book, Unshackled and Growing. He wrote the book. In addition, a PDF version of the book in English is available to you for free on the website, friendshippathways.com. You may also access past episodes there. I present to you the episode, The Forward, a letter from Dr. Fatima. Dr. Fatima Al-Makki is a Muslim who graduated from the Sorbonne University with a PhD in philosophy. She is now resident in the United States and she read my book, Unshackled and Growing, before it got published, and she gave me valuable feedback. Here's what she wrote as part of the feedback that she gave me. Dear Dr. Jabour, words cannot describe the blessings I was covered with during the reading of your book. I really felt the Holy Spirit whispering in my ear, see Fatima, this is what I mean. Your book came at this time in my life to assure me that we are worshiping a living God and he will never forsake us. I could hear him telling me what he said in Jeremiah chapter 40, verse four, I free you this day from the chains that were on your hand and I will look after you. He, the Almighty God himself, is looking after me. I love the Arabic translation of this phrase, which says, Aini alayki, I am looking after you. He's not just glancing at me, he's looking after me. I remember when I first started being discipled by a Christian woman, I told her, I can study the four gospels with you but please not the Old Testament, nor the book of Acts, and most definitely not the epistles. The Old Testament reminds me of the strict law, the Sharia. Ah. The book of Acts doesn't minister to me, and I don't care who went, where, and did what. As for the ep epistles, I don't want to even go there. These are just letters that are limited to a historical time and place, and they don't apply to me anyway. The Christian lady was very patient with me and continued to disciple me, and God used her as a cable to jumpstart our dead batteries, our family who have all become followers of Christ. Months went by, and the lady who was discipling me traveled to another country. I found myself beside my bed one night asking him, was it a dream? What is next? What am I supposed to do now? Why are you leaving me in the middle of the ocean when I don't know how to swim alone? He answered me through your book saying, Fatima, you're unshackled now. Get up and walk. It's that easy. Follow me. I confess to you that I had to put the book down so many times while reading it to catch my breath. I sobbed so many times. I cried. I laughed. I felt the Lord hugging me and rocking me back and forth with my head on his chest, saying, yes, my child, I love you that much. Do not worry. You will never be alone again. I'll always be here for you. Dr. Jabour, I went and got my Bible and started reading the book of Acts again and found a new meaning in the saying. That's the rest of my story. I felt the agony of the disciples as they struggled between reality and doubts. I felt him. I could see his teary eyes looking at me and hugging me, saying, It's okay, Fatima. I love you for who you are. You are not a cheater, Fatima. You still can say, Alhamdulillah, thanks to God. Instead of saying, Nishkur al-Rabb, 
Christian terminology for we thank the Lord if you want to. You still can say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of God the merciful, the compassionate when you want to. When you start your car in the morning, it's okay, Fatima. You are not a cheater. I'm still the same yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forever. So you still can say, Sadaqallahu al-Azim. Truly and with truth, God has spoken after you read the Bible. You do not have to change your language around Christians. I love you, Fatima al makki for who you are. If I wanted another copy of the Christians, I would have created you in a Christian family. But I want you. So relax in my arms, child, and don't kick. Do you believe it? I slept for a whole two days afterward. I found out later she was not exaggerating when she said that statement. Thank you so very much for giving me the honor of reading what the Lord told you to say to us, the new believers, through his Holy Spirit once again. I am 100% sure that God is going to use this book. I am basking now in God's love. One day God is going to use me as a cable to jumpstart other dead batteries. Sincerely, Fatima Al-Makki, Ph.D. Mm-hmm.